With the M1 Max and the M1 Pro MacBooks being so powerful, finally having enough ports and huge storage capacities, there is only a minimal amount of accessories that you will need and that is the whole point of these MacBooks. I'm going to share nine of my favorite Pro accessories for my M1 Max, which is also suitable to any other MacBooks that you may have. These are a collection of MacBook accessories that I have accumulated over the years that I personally love using on my 16 inch M1 Max. Both the MacBook Max and MacBook Pros are all customizable when it comes to storage capacities. I personally like buying base models because it is better value for money for me. If I was to opt for an extra one terabyte of SSD storage for my M1 Max, that would be costing me an additional $400 versus the cost of my Samsung T7, which I have owned for the last couple of years. I have both the Samsung T5 and T7, but of course I would recommend the newer Samsung T7. This is incredibly fast, portable and reliable. I have actually edited lots of 4K videos directly on the T7 when I was still using my M1 MacBook Pro. I have an entire video about this which I will link down below. So if you need a larger storage capacity but you don't necessarily need access to your files all the time then have a think if an SSD would also be a better value for you. I absolutely love the 16 inch screen size of my M1 Max and this is the first time that I went for a larger MacBook. If I'm editing on my M1 Max on the go or elsewhere apart from our home office, I have enough real estate to comfortably work. However, as we are talking about pro accessories, I still use an external monitor and my monitor of choice, which you probably have guessed by now, is still the Samsung G9. As much as I love this monitor though, there are certain things that one should know about before purchasing and I also have a dedicated video about this in the description box. My next favorite accessory is this Omaton MacBook stand or MacBook dock. It comes in different colors and what I have right here is the gray one. It has a protective mat so it won't scratch your precious MacBook. And what I absolutely love about this is that it is adjustable. I used to use this on my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro and now that I have the 16 inch M1 Max, which is relatively chunkier, I didn't have to buy a new MacBook stand as I have just adjusted the width. This is durable and is made out of aluminum alloy and is scratch resistant and is non-slip with a silicon mat. I've been using this for about over a year and it perfectly does the job. I think a keyboard and a trackpad is definitely a matter of a preference if you own an M1 Max or an M1 Pro. I do like using Apple's Magic Keyboard and Apple's Magic Trackpad when I'm using my external monitor. It just makes my desk a lot more minimal and to be honest, since I have the massive 16 inch, it is definitely in the way with how my table is all set up. Using the Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad definitely gives me a clean and minimal look and it's a lot easier to use other things when I'm working on my desk. Finding the right MacBook backpack is definitely very important, whether it be for your daily commute or for your travels. I think an anti-theft backpack is definitely a must. This built-in lock is DSA approved, meaning if you're traveling and authorities would need to search your bag, they won't need to destroy your lock as they will have the keys to open this. This bag is nice and slim as I personally like to travel as light and as minimal as I could. On the inside, both the 16 inch M1 Max and my 12 9 inch iPad Pro fits nicely. It is well padded so I know my gadgets are well protected and there is also an adequate space for any other bits that I bring. These pockets right here are handy for smaller items that may get lost easily and there is a slot for a power bank but I personally use a MagSafe charger anyways so I don't really use this anymore after upgrading to the iPhone 13 Pro. There is a front pocket for items that you need access to easily but aren't of high value and also this back pocket where you can safely put items like your wallet, your phone and your passport. It's definitely very important to have some sort of a cleaning material to keep your MacBooks nice and sparkly. I personally use this Toro cleaning cloth, which is a nice alternative to the $19 Apple polishing cloth. And I have this brush that I use for my M1 Max and camera. It's such a nice way to flick any particles in hard to reach areas, just like the keyboards or the hinges. 
Most of the time these days, I am working in the sitting room or my little boy's bedroom. In order to work comfortably, I do use this Wano laptop stand, which I absolutely love. I've been using this since my M1 MacBook Pro days, and I'm pretty chuffed that it can handle my now much larger 16 inch M1 Max. This cushion is nice and comfortable on my lap, even if I use it for an extended number of hours. This topper is nice and strong, and I find the angle perfect. Next is this Nokin laptop sleeve. As I have never had any 15 or 16 inch laptop before, this was the only thing that I needed to purchase. I wanted as much protection for my MacBook as possible when traveling and I also wanted a laptop sleeve where I can put my MacBook on top of it if I need to work on our dining table for that extra protection. It is nice and thick and is made out of PU leather. This flap can be used as a mouse pad if you use one. I personally don't use any mouse on my M1 Max. This is actually a two-in-one as it can also act as a laptop stand. The angle varies from 15 to 25 degrees and I must admit I'm pleasantly surprised with how sturdy it is and how well it can carry my heavy 16-inch M1 Max. It fits nicely and I like the Velcro which makes opening and shutting much easier compared to having zips. The edges are nicely padded. It's nice to know that if I am to go away I can still use this as a laptop stand and I wouldn't have to bring my Wano laptop stand with me and of course it fits on my laptop backpack even with this case on. And lastly is my AirPods Pro. You do need some sort of a headset, especially when you're working on a project that requires your full attention. I have mine since it came out a few years ago. The battery life is still very good. Sound quality is amazing. And you just can't beat the noise cancellation that this AirPods Pro offers. So those are my top five accessories for my M1 Max. Everything is listed in the description box. If you have any interesting must have accessory for your M1 Max or M1 Pro, please let me know. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye now.